Hi, I'm Nicola Lokschefer. Uh, we are here in the laboratories of uh, Torino and I will explain you the point of my master thesis. Hi, uh, I am here for the mobility in uh, Erasmus Mundus. Uh, I'm doing a semester in Torino. Here we are in the laboratory of, uh, um, of the Aquarello. And um, I particularly like the, um, the ambience uh, of work here. Because in Italy people are very nice and uh, the way of living here is also very nice. We, we can go to restaurant uh, in the evening. It's, uh, we are already in March. It was already uh, very warm, but what you have to know is also that um, for a student, Torino is a very cheap city. We can go uh, reach uh, Francesca Boni, you know, who is my supervisor in the laboratory, to show you what I am doing here. My name is uh, Francesca Bonino, I'm an uh, assistant professor uh, at the Department of Chemistry of the University of Turin. Uh, my research activity is mainly devoted to the spectroscopic characterization of microporous materials uh, such as uh, MOFs uh, and uh, zeolites. And, uh, more or less 10 years ago, I was deeply involved in the building up of the Rama Spectroscopy Laboratory in our department. And since that time, I started to study uh, by means of Rama Spectroscopy also uh, zeolites. Uh, for this purpose, uh, I proposed uh, a master thesis on uh, zeolite characterization by means of Rama Spectroscopy and Nicola chose this topic. He joined our Raman lab in March and he spent the first month of his master thesis in the building up of the setup and the testing of the setup. This is the status of his research at the moment. And uh, in the next month, uh, before summer, he will uh, uh, try uh, the, the big setup uh, with the, the, um, to characterize zeolite to the, for, for the fundamental characterization of zeolites and uh, uh, their study both in situ, both in situ and in operando conditions uh, with uh, probe molecules and directly with uh, reactants. Uh, Nicola is preparing uh, uh, the sample for uh, Raman spectroscopic characterization. The sample is a zeolite sample. This kind uh, of material is uh, a very important uh, uh, sample for industrial purpose because uh, a zeolite is uh, uh, often used for, for catalysis. And in particular, the uh, sample that uh, Nicola is preparing uh, will be used for uh, a very important reaction in uh, industries, that is the methanol to hydrocarbon reaction. Nicola will test a different zeolite sample uh, in the same uh, uh, reaction, that is methanol to hydrocarbon reaction, that is a very important reaction studied in the petro uh, petrochemistry uh, field and uh, it is a really hot topic at the moment. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
So now we have the zero light sample in the cell, and we have to put it in the microscopic uh, amount of the meter. And so we put it here. And we have to do the vacuum with this uh, machine, with the vacuum pump. First, first we do the vacuum, uh, then we raise the temperature, and we will dose later oxygen. In this way, the purpose of the experiment is to try to make the zeolite free from all the pollutants which are contained in and to monitor the reaction of burning of these uh, hydrocarbons which are polluting the zeolites while we are inside the instrument. This is the big improvement which uh, uh, Nicolai is introducing with this thesis, the possibility to measure what is really happening on the sample at a given temperature and pressure. So this is the vacuum line, the, the line we are using to, uh, to do vacuum in the sample, in the cell of the sample where they use the sample. So here is the turbo pump. So to the vacuum, we just have to open here, and you will see the pressure rising, and it should be decreasing now. Why well, I am glad I have chosen the MAMA cell program? First point, you will meet and make wonderful friends. This is in the Regiku meeting, we had to do a selfie competition. So here are the winning selfies, the best selfie we took in the Regiku meeting. But on a more scientific aspect, um, you will learn to, to talk uh, a scientific language. Scientific language uh, should be uh, universal, but if you go to France, Germany or Italy, it will be a different way to explain ideas. And the fact that I've been to France, Rennes, to Germany uh, in Munich, and to um, Italy in Turin, I have learned how to speak uh, different uh, uh, scientific language and it is a very important thing either you want to pursue your, um, your, your studies in the PhD or if you want to go in the industry after. There are three big events during the MAMA cell program. The first one is the welcome week, the second one is the summer school and the third one is a status uh, meeting in Rigikun. We are now in Rigikun where all the students will share their work they have done until now in the different university for their master thesis. I will personally present my work I've done in Torino on Raman spectroscopy. Okay. So we continue. Next presentation. This is uh, Nicolas Lukševa.